everybody, David Essel here. I want to talk a little bit today about executive coaching. You know, the, the world of coaching has exploded. I started in 1990, so 26 years ago. I was introduced to the world of coaching. I came from the world of sports psychology, working with athletes and health and fitness enthusiasts with, with their mind and their attitude. And all of a sudden, one day in 1990, I had this opportunity to work with an athlete, but this time from a different perspective. And the world of coaching to me was born. Now, back then, we didn't have organized organizations and all kinds of certification programs. I kind of just fell into it. And all of a sudden, one day I realized that, you know, what I'm doing is that I'm sort of crossing my sports psychology counseling work with the world of coaching, like people coaching. And it became this most brilliant form of helping people to achieve their goals. As the years went by, uh, actually within about, probably I shouldn't even say years, within just a couple months, we were doing these written exercises with our clients and then number of months go by after that and all of a sudden I'm working with salespeople and, and couples trying to keep their marriage together and then I start working with executives. So what is executive coaching and how is it different? In, in our work, we work with executives from corporations. So there are businesses that I'll work with four or five vice presidents. Uh, there are other businesses where I'll work with the president and two or three of his top people, human resources, sales director, vice president of sales, et cetera. There are other ind individuals who are executives that I do executive coaching with that they're a one-man show, you know, one-man, one-woman show. That's it. They run it. They have part-time people working for them, but we work with them from an executive point of view, and the most important thing we do is hold them accountable to change. Now, executive coaching is different because we're working at a very high-end level of individuals that are willing to do what it takes, whatever it takes, to make those changes happen. If it's changing company philosophy, they'll examine it. If it's looking for ways to, to build their staff, they'll examine it. If it's looking for ways to franchise their business, they'll examine it. If it's looking for ways to change the culture, in other words, to start instituting uh, exercise hours or meditation relaxation hours within the company, they'll do it. In other words, you know, executive of coaching is really looking at how is it that I can expand my mindset so those individually underneath me get that trickle down effect and expand their mindset as well. Does that make sense? If you're interested, if you're a business owner and you want to learn how to do mastermind groups within your corporation, if you're a small business owner and it's just you and you're looking to try to expand your network marketing business, your real estate business, your hair salon business, your plumbing business, your financial accounting business, whatever, and you really want that one-on-one -on -one approach of someone to hold you accountable one or two days a week with an ongoing program that'll guarantee your success, contact me at talkdavid.com, okay? I'll have the website below here in this YouTube video, but if you're serious about expanding, we have all kinds of experience now for 26 years in helping executives bring their level of game up. If you're looking to become a greater leader, a greater leader, a more profound, a more proficient leader in your business, let me know and I'll help you get there as well, okay? This is David Essel wishing you an incredible day.